At times, we all feel lost in search of something more. This is Christina Dam, and this is the Liberate the Podcast, a podcast designed to help inspire and guide you forward through everything spirituality, creativity, art, and just giving you a sense of empowerment so that you can be powerful, be magical, and be free. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Liberate the Podcast. We're welcoming back Veronica Kelly. She's a dear friend of mine. She's also a weight loss coach. She and She's a yoga teacher. She's an EFT practitioner and really, you know, kind of an everything to get you in alignment, mind, body, and soul. And she's been a dear friend of mine for, what, over a decade now, Veronica? Yeah, 11 yeah. years. 11 years, 11 years, you know, and going through transformations, ups and downs along the way and figuring out what really works to help her heal. And she's going to share that with you. Um, And our topic today is self-love, really, and how that can change your life. And so, Veronica, welcome. Thank you. So happy to be here. So good to see you. Hello, Liberate family. Oh, we're great, great, grateful to have you. And I want to start off by saying there's other podcasts and beautiful content that Veronica shared with us a few years ago, back when Liberate Hollywood was around. So if you love this podcast, we'll link some links down below to some of those other podcasts that you can listen and get to know Veronica even more from a few years ago. (laughs) (laughs) So welcome. So Veronica, there's been a lot of changes. I've been seeing you pop up on social media. You've been moving around from, you know, up the Pacific Northwest, and now you're in Texas. And I've also seen massive transformation happen uh, physically for you too, you know? And there's then now, you know, I see you popping up on, on Instagram feeds and Facebook feeds and stuff like this, and all of these before and after pictures. And I'm like, whoa, these people are getting some major results. And and also you, you've been showing the results that you've had, you know? So do you want to share a little bit about, um, what you're doing, what you're currently up to. And then I want to kind of get into the self-love and how you got here. Absolutely. So, uh, Christina, thanks for having me. It's so good to see your face. Just a little side note to the podcast listeners. We actually had to just stop talking because we've been gabbing for like 20 minutes to do this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I was like, we need to catch up later. Let's, let's start filming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, So yeah, I'm super excited to be here with you guys. And what's been really exciting is, so basically what had happened was I, in 2020, I was pretty miserable as most of us are. I was, I went from teaching full-time yoga. I was hiking. I had a dog hiking business. I was coaching to having nothing. And Mm. I didn't realize at the time, but my relationship, the man I thought I was going to marry And I were growing apart and our relationship was falling apart. And so instead of talking about it or dealing with it, we were drinking and eating, drinking and eating. Mm -hmm. And as a result, you know, towards the end of 2020, I was like my personal heaviest. And although there's nothing wrong with, you know, whatever size you are. And that's one of the things I'm passionate about is like owning and loving your body. As long as you're healthy, it doesn't matter if you're teensy or you're whatever, as long as you're healthy about it. Awesome. But for me, I was really unhealthy and, um, I went through my breakup and we, you know, we split at the end of 2020 and then I turned to my old good friend, alcohol, and I was so depressed. I was just eating and drinking, eating and drinking. And, you know, breakups are really hard, especially during the pandemic when you can't go out and meet your friends to go dancing, to raise your spirit. So you can't yeah. do the fun things. Right. Yeah, so, and even in, in in LA, you know, I, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but even our hiking trails got cut off for a little bit of time too. So I mean, literally, right. and we went through the most massive lockdown where gyms, yoga studios, they were closed for almost two years. You know, yeah. so um, it wasn't like you could start your routine outward. It was if you were going to do anything, it had to be through some kind of video technology and computer, which mm-hmm. sometimes you. You, you need surroundings, right? You yeah. know, so. Yeah, for sure. And it was definitely that I remember in the pandemic going hiking, like you're talking about and having literal policemen on horses at Runyon <laughs> that were like, you must go home. And I was like, but we're outside. <laughs> it was crazy. So 
as a result, I just, I was really depressed and I was, you know, about 20 pounds overweight and I had a, my company that I've been working with for my, I've been a CBD rep for, you know, you know, for a long time. And my company had this weight loss protocol and they called me and said, Hey, do you want to be part of the beta group? And, um, he's like, you know, I'm not saying you need to lose weight. You're beautiful as you are, but I would love for you to test out this product. Mm. And so I was like, heck yes, I need a reset. I need something to pull me from drinking, pull me from overeating and just get me back on the path to purity, you know, yeah. coming back to getting rid of my toxins and focusing on eating clean food and just watching what I'm doing, coming back to center. And so I had lost when it was all said and done, it's a 30 day protocol. And in that 30 days, I lost 17 pounds. What? 17 in 30 days. And I shaved off 28.6 inches from my body. Wait Crazy. a second. I mean, like most of the time, you know, people might lose a pound or two pounds, you know, every couple of weeks, you know, but 17. Yeah. And that's I mean, and where, where you, it all you, the time. Like with my you do, doing some major like fitness regimen with it. No, you actually have to take your fitness down. It's a very specific protocol okay. that is all whole foods with intermittent fasting, a couple supplements, and it's no food, no, no carbs, no alcohol, no sugar, all anti-inflammatory foods mm. gone. So it's a catalog of stuff that you can consume and intermix with intermittent fasting and the supplements. And so it's okay. a whole, it's a whole science. You actually biohack your system. You only do it for 30 days. You can't maintain that. It's not something okay. you're going to do for six months. You do it for 30 days, you get your results, you reset your body, and then you move on to adding foods back in and then okay. go about your life and hopefully not gain any weight. I have not gained any weight back. And it's been, um, almost about a year and a half. Wow. Um, so that's the protocol. But what I noticed particularly for me and which is like what I'm, what sparked me to create my coaching program is that once you pull out the crutch, whether it's sugar, alcohol, overeating, overworking out, then your shit comes up. I mean, your yeah. stuff comes up. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, your stuff comes up. And so what I noticed is that as I was taking clients through the weight loss program, if they didn't have a healthy self-care routine, if they didn't have skills to work through those uncomfortable feelings, those mental viruses that we have, then they would quit. And then they would just go back to their habits. And so what I did is I created a coaching program that goes along with the weight loss protocol to help support you on the inside as well as on the outside. Makes sense. I mean, people need that, you know, yeah. it's so important. Because otherwise they do, if they, they don't have the tools, if they don't have the resources and if things, emotional things pop up, I mean, anybody can withstand something for a certain period of time, but that's oftentimes what happens in the wellness industry is you have people do the yo-yo. Yeah. Right. It's like they're, they'll be good and they can restrict their self for two weeks, three weeks, maybe even a month, maybe even sometimes two months. And then suddenly they, they go back. It's almost just like a, this band being pulled, 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 and then it ricochets. And oftentimes it's more reckless than mm -hmm. they started, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and, and so this coaching program, and then, and then you have all these other tools and stuff that, you know, and I mean, it's been something that you've been you've really dived into the spiritual aspect. You've taught meditations for us. I know that you've been doing yoga teaching for years now. Um, you also, you know, have been a big component of creating and manifestation vision boards. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, and so like you bring in all of that, but then also some of these other tools like the EFT and then also the, the diving in, I've never heard anybody talk so much like, the amount of like knowledge, you know, about cannabis and CBD specifically and how yeah. it affects your brain. It's like, it's like, I'm talking to a doctor. I'm like, how did you learn all this stuff? I'm like, this controls this and that's, and I'm like, uh, okay. I just know it's good for me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the cool thing about CBD is you don't need to know the science. You just need to know it's good for you unless you're a nerd like I am. And then you want to know the science. Yeah. <laughs> but the, well, and that's the thing too. It's like, when I was going through the protocol, I was losing weight and I, you know, it, like you don't know about me. I used to be an actress and I, you know, I've been in Hollywood for 15 years, done tons of commercials, tons of auditions, lots of shows. You know, I was a professional improv girl on you know, Hollywood Boulevard and 
one of the things that happened as a result of that is I developed body dysmorphia where Mm. it did not matter how thin I was. I always thought I was too big. So when I was going through the protocol and losing all this weight, I noticed when I would stall for a day, my old thinking would come up like, what's wrong with you? Oh my God, you're this. Oh my God, you're that. But because like you just noted, I have the tools of EFT, yoga, meditation. I was able to self-soothe and work through that crap. And so that's one of the things I love about about having all these different tools and these resources is they work. And yes, therapy is a great, a great thing to do. It's getting an outsider's opinion is invaluable. Um, I've not done a lot of therapy sessions, but the ones that I've done have been very eye opening for me and bringing some stuff to light that I never saw. And so I definitely suggest therapy if you're in it. However, we have so many tools at our disposal that are free that if we just commit to doing every day, we can literally change our lives. And Mm -hmm. I'm super passionate about getting those skills over to people to empower people to be able to do it on their own underneath the tutelage and being, you know, a mentor, being there for them, but also giving people those skills because it will, you can literally change your life on your own. If your mindset is to do so, you know? Yeah. You sometimes just need to be coached to understand how to do it. Right. And that's where you come in as, you know, it, it, I mean, when you think about it, oftentimes when people think about the word coach, they think about a sport, right? And sometimes that coach is there to teach you drills to correct things that you don't see from being in and in, in your own body, in your own mind, right? That you don't notice that you can you need to turn your foot a little bit this way to have a better kick, or mm-hmm. or you know, maybe if you hold the ball this way, you'll have a better shot, or whatever the case may be. But they can notice and do those tweaks for you and give you those tools and give you those resources of things that you can do outside and then you have the better performance and I think that that's where like you know when people ask oftentimes about why would somebody need like a life coach or a wellness coach or a weight loss coach or whatever the case well that's the same thing they're, mm-hmm. they're seeing you and giving you these strategies and abilities and 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 fine tuning you so that you get the results that you are seeking or get you better results than you could even think about, right? Exactly. And and again, like you said, it's they see stuff that you don't see. You know, like I'm for example, um, when I first met Christina, I was helping her with the Liberate Emporium, and we were like putting together a website and taking pictures and such. And so, so generously, she offered to, you know, trade me for some hypnotherapy sessions. And I had never done hypnotherapy. I'd never even like seen a therapist at that point. And I remember, I I can still see the room actually to this day. I remember we were talking about, so podcast land. So just so you know, I have a lot of, which most people do. I've got a lot of trauma and abandonment from when I was little. And my mom's a drug addict. I was adopted by my grandparents. There was a lot of early, you know, from age, like being born till four, there was a lot of unstableness in my life. And I motored through like a champ and, you know, lived my life and did my things and made a lot of mistakes. But the one thing that was really heartbreaking for me was I could not hold a relationship and I kept attracting these jerks into my life. And I wrote an entire web series where it was loosely based on my dating life and we put it together as a film. So I saw the whole thing back to 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 back. And at the end of it, I was like, oh, crap, (laughs) maybe it's me. (laughs) (laughs) And I remember we had that session and I told you about my background and you said to me, you're like, well, what do you do? Do you either attract the same thing over and over again so you have abusive relationships or do you just completely stay away from him and you never give yourself a chance to trust Mm -hmm. and I was like I never thought about that until you said it to me and I was like oh no I completely attract unavailable people so I never have to try to trust and get hurt again Mm -hmm. and just you enlightening me that on that information and then us going into the session that is really one of the catalysts that pushed me into learning EFT, finding self-love and doing the work to heal that because I really took responsibility in that moment. Like, oh crap, this is, this is me. Like I'm, yes, there's jerks in LA. Yes. It's hard to date in you know Hollywood, but that's not, yeah, it was a lot deeper. 
So I, again, I always want to, I want to thank you for that. That was a huge pivotal moment in my life. And I'm, I'm really grateful for you. Ah, well, I'm grateful for you and all the things that you've done for Liberate over the years too. You know, my pleasure. I'd still be there if I was in LA, but you know, we got to get Liberate into Austin. Yeah, no, it would actually be a good place. We'll talk. We'll talk. But I, so in that though, you know, I think you touch on a really good point, which kind of piggybacks into the, the topic. It's about self-love and not noticing lo- those like blind spots and where maybe we're not loving ourselves. Right. Mm-hmm. And so yours was a journey that maybe started with, you know, that insight or maybe it was way before that, that that's why you were even having the desire to create that that web series is that there was something part of you saying, you know what, I don't want this pattern anymore. I noticed that there's a pattern and maybe at first it was a projection outward saying, you know, I'm dating these horrible guys in LA and it's about them. But then that realization, but there's a part of you or a higher intelligence to say, let's just even look like they're they're, The fact that there's, you're looking at this and you're creating something on it. You're starting to be aware that it can be different. Right. Right. Even right. if you think it's it's their fault or your fault, there's a desire and a knowing that it can be different. Right. And right? that's what it starts with. Just having that ability to take a look and be curious, yeah. just being curious. That's where it has to start. And I, I know when I do EFT with a lot of people and it's the same way with, with affirmations and for anybody who doesn't know what EFT is, it's, um, tapping aka the emotional freedom technique and it's just a really great way to move through emotions and reprogram your body from the inside out i love it it's my passion totally changed my life um but like what i do a lot with my clients is like if you are saying an affirmation where you're like i'm a millionaire i'm a millionaire and then you look around your house and you know it's broken. Your car's missing a headlight. Your registration's <laughs> expired. You've got bills that you can't pay. Your subconscious is going, you're not a millionaire. You're not, yeah. you're not even close to a millionaire. And when you have two conflicting thoughts, the most powerful thought is the one that's going to win. And yeah. every single time it's like, there's an old Hopi saying that says inside of us, there is, there's two wolves, one of evil and one of good. Mm-hmm. And they're consistently fighting. And then the grandson asks the Hopi, the Hopi um, man, you know, well, which wolf is going to win? And he says back to his grandson, the one that you feed. Mm. So there's always those two going on. And it's the one that you're giving the most attention to that's going to win. So yeah. I always teach people at the beginning, don't, if you don't believe you're a millionaire or you don't believe you are confident, then say something to the effect of, I am open to becoming more confident. Yeah. I am available to more money than I've ever known and just stepping into that space. And that's just creates the curiosity. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know, the one, just press it little like, all right, enjoy the rest of this content. The most important part of transformation is just, it really starts with being curious. Oh, I couldn't agree more. You know, I mean, and if people think back to like maybe when they were a kid or especially when they were a teenager, if you were curious about something and you, you know, as kids, they curious, even if they're told no, or they can't go somewhere like a hundred times, what do they do? They figure out a way to climb the fence, to go around, to sneak (laughs) under, to do whatever they need to do, you know? Um, like that, yeah. you know, to, to explore what is in that unknown, because that curiosity becomes bigger and bigger until there's nothing that stops them. Mm-hmm. Right? And, and that's, that's one of our superpower strengths is our, is our ability to have this beautiful mind that can envision things that aren't in existence. Right. The downfall fall of that, which is your wolf example is Oftentimes, that means that most of the time we create things that are more negative that aren't in existence. Well, right? our, our minds, our subconscious, and I know you know this because NLP that, you know, and your hypnotherapy training and expertise, our, our mind doesn't know the difference between good and bad. It just knows yeah. the difference between this is what we're focused on and yeah. it gives you more of what you're focused on. And so that's one of the things I love about, you know, EFT is that 
it stops the loop. So if you're in a loop thinking about this negative thing, negative thing, negative thing, when you go through the tapping, it stops the loop and just gives you an opportunity to make a new choice and just make a new observation. And start to create that curiosity that starts to, you know, build that self-love that starts to build that possibility and then changing your life. Well, and you know, it's so interesting. I, I'm coming to find this out more and more that I'm, that I'm working with people because I'm out here in Austin. I do events all the time. I'm doing new moon ceremonies, full moon ceremonies, self-love workshops, and really just building this environment and this community out here based around love. Because the one thing I learned when I started to notice that I was probably the one attracting these crappy men into my life. I was the one who was living paycheck to paycheck and could not put any money in savings. Now, partially that's because I was, my parents didn't teach me. I was never taught as a young age to put money in savings. So it was lack of knowledge, but also I just was a paycheck to paycheck person. And I didn't realize until I started to get curious and ask, why am I this way that I had an underlining thought process in my subconscious that I wasn't good enough, that I wasn't worthy, that I wasn't lovable. And our con my conscious mind didn't know that. Like I could, I could walk into a room and be so confident and, you know, step in and just do what I needed to do. I really didn't know that I had this subconscious program that was running in my mind. Mm-hmm. And, and so, and that, that becomes so powerful that it outwins, you know, it's a, it, it's, it's that wolf because it is that belief system and our unconscious mind is so much more powerful than our conscious mind because mm-hmm. at any given moment, it's what we see. It's what we think. It's all those subtleties. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you had this realization and, and you knew that, Hey, this is, this is, this is me. And this isn't that I, I, and then, so what are, were some of the steps that you did to build that self-love in yourself? Great. Thank you for asking that. That's a great question. I, well, I got this book, which is called calling in the one and okay. it's like has daily activities. Well, I found out by like day seven that it's, the book is really a self-love book (laughs) (laughs) and it's interesting because so there's this expression that I heard once was, which I still, I teach this all the time in my workshops is you teach other people how to love you by Mm -hmm. the way you love yourself. Yeah. And that really, it's mind blowing when you think about that, you know, and if you if you think you might have an issue or you think you might have something unconscious running in your brain, look at your relationships right now. Are your relationships loving and kind and supportive? If they're not, stop and ask yourself, how can I be more kind to myself? How can I be more supportive to myself? How can I be more loving to myself? And once I flipped that script, I was like, oh, okay. If I want someone to cherish me, I need to cherish myself. If I want someone to adore me and think I'm beautiful, I need to adore myself and think I'm beautiful. And again, the best way that I know to consistently get those new thoughts into your mind and your body, more importantly, is through EFT, affirmations, journaling. I would, I would, when I was really changing, I would say, you know, I deserve to be cared for. I deserve to be loved. I deserve to be held. And I would imagine myself with somebody with their arms around me and I would just be, t- and I would tap it and just really bring it into my body somatically that I deserve this. Yeah. And then once I did that for a period of time, then my whole life switched. I started to, it's when I found my yoga teacher training. I started to have more opportunities to love myself more in my life. And that's when I got my relationship. And although me and my ex didn't, didn't, you know, walk the aisle, we still had five years of an amazing romance. And it was yeah. the most powerful, supportive, loving, wonderful experience of my life. I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I created that as soon as I switched the flip and turned yeah. myself into a self-love monster, then I was able to create love in my life. And that, I mean, that's really, uh, thank you so much for sharing that. And I think that that goes so powerful in the saying, like how quickly somebody can change. And I know I started out saying, you know, what I noticed the before and afters of the, your, your wellness and, and the transformation of some of the people that you work with and the weight loss coaching that you do and how quickly that 
that change happened in these 30 days, you know, and you're 17 pounds in 30 days, but also like on that emotional level, on that, on that self-confidence level, on that deeper inner level, change can happen too. In, right. in the, in the, in when you change that on the inside, literally everything else on the outside changes and mm-hmm. it happens so fast. Right. right? It um, does. And that's like, I just, I put this course together. I'm launching it and it'll be an evergreen course. So whenever this, you know, whenever yeah. you are lucky enough to see this podcast, it'll still be on my website, heal yourself with Veronica Kelly.com. Um, but I really created this four week course of taking yourself through how to come into authentic and infinite self-love. And, you know, it starts with that forgiveness, like really like forgiving yourself and forgiving the people around you because everybody's trying to do the best they can, you know? And for so long, I personally held on to this story of, you know, my mom abandoned me, you know, she didn't love me, all these things my little brain had put in my head had made up. And then as I got older, and now that I'm, now that I'm where I am right now, I'm able to look back and be like, she was 18 years old, 18. She did the, she literally did the best that she could. And like coming into that place of like fully accepting and forgiving whatever trauma happened to you. That's the first step because we're humans. Like the Buddha says, like life is suffering. Yes. There's good stuff in it, but guarantee there's going to be suffering. That's just the human experience. None of us are unique. We all go through it. And the more that we can forgive and let go and not be a victim, then that's when we can really start to do that healing and that transformation. And as long as you're holding on and blaming and hating and having any type of a negative thing, that will get balled up in your system and literally attract more of it to you. So, you know, for my rapid transformation, the first thing is forgiveness, self-forgiveness, And forgiving the people who you think did you wrong when really most of the time they were just doing the best they could. It just, unfortunately, it wasn't necessarily the best for you. Yeah. And, and that's really great that you can look back and and see that perspective and helping your client see that, you know, a lot of times we forget that our parents or older people in our life, whomever those are mentors, other, that they're human, Right that they go through life and they're going through this journey, just like you're going through this journey. And, uh, it, and, you know, healing and letting that go, not only for them, but more for you, because I mean, if you have these, like how you said, it was like this ball that like kind of stacks up. I mean, a metaphor that popped up in my mind is like seeing like this little plant and if it's scattered around with weeds, it doesn't grow really big. Right. Mm -hmm. It's suffocated. It's suffocated with the with this other outside circumstances that are preventing it from really blossoming, blooming, growing to the the extent that it can grow. But if you Mm -hmm. remove all of that and you say, you know what, that that's that, Mm -hmm. then then suddenly this like whether it's a tree, whether it's a rose bush, whether it's whatever can blossom, bloom and create this like, you know, higher life of expansion. You're not limited anymore right i think that that's what happens when people let go of their past is they grow right yeah oh absolutely and it's just that opportunity to you know um how do they it's like that's another like an analogy i was just thinking of it's like when you have your when you have your fist so clenched around an idea you can't scoop water you can't feed yourself you can't do anything but when you drop that you have the room to have money. You have the room to hold water. You have the room to hold food. And it's like, it's, we keep the second that we can learn to just let go uh, and forgive. Then we open ourselves up to more good, more love, more possibility than we ever could have imagined. Because in my opinion, there is a higher power that has blessed each and every one of us with, with a important gift that is unique to each of us. And Mm -hmm. all we need to do is drop the baggage, drop the blame and the victimhood and open up to receive it. And we will. Yeah, I agree. And so that's what, that's what I'm really passionate about. Like with love. And I found this too, like with yoga, I, yes, I love the asanas. I love seeing people get healthy. I love when people connect to their breath. Um, but my overarching favorite thing about teaching somebody yoga and being a facilitator in a class is helping people to just calm their mind and open themselves up to the possibility 
that there may be something great out there for them. Mm. I love that. Like, I love that idea of just humbling ourselves and saying, you know, how does it get even better than this? Show me. And allowing the wonder to come in, but we have to make space for it. And that comes through forgiveness. That comes through healing. That comes through self-love. And so that's one of the reasons why I'm so freaking passionate about self-love because it honestly changed my entire life. It literally did. It wasn't yeah. until I realized that I need to love myself more that my entire life changed. Beautiful. And that's it. So t- tell me more about this program that is this evergreen program. So what can people oh, expect? How, how long is it? You know, like, is it something that, you know, yeah, share. Totally. So um, I've created a four week, week course, which is so four weeks. art. So it's a four week course. Yeah. It's mastering the art of self-love and we really focus on authentic and infinite connection. Okay. So really I give a lot of skills and each week kind of grows on the next and, or the, the prior. And, you know, we build on the skills like, because you can, it, you can't fool the universe. Yeah. We're energy. We're energy beings. And if you're not vibing authentically, you're not going to get what you want. You're just not. And yeah. so the first couple of weeks are really about authentically what we need to get pulled. What do I need to forgive? What do I need to let go of? And I have different skills and tools that you practice every day, along with tapping forgiveness to really clear that channel, clear and let go, clear and let go. You know, and then, is, it, is this something that people are doing? Sorry to cut you off, but is this something that people are doing on their own time? Is it a certain ske- schedule? Mm -hmm. So we have a lesson where I wrote each week. And so I'm doing, my intention is to do it live, but also to offer it as well on, as a a course that you can just watch it, download it. So I have a couple EFT things to do. And there's a specific assignments that go with an exercise that you're going to do consistently. Because again, it's like the wolf, which one are you feeding? That's the one who's going to win. So you have to, it's got to be consistent. Even if it's two minutes a day. The only way to rewrite the neural pathways in your mind is to be consistent. Okay. So each week kind of grows on the, the final week, or the week before, all the way up until the final. And then hopefully by then we've uprooted your garden. We've planted some new seeds. We've given you tools that you can take and move forward to grow and grow more self-love. And then of course I'm available for court coaching beyond that. Like if you need more support, you know, you can book sessions with me as well. And I look forward to building this into retreats making this into events. Um, yeah. And it's, it's just what worked for me and what I'm seeing now working for my students condensed into a little boot camp. So I love, really it. Excited. I love it. So it's four weeks, you know, you get to pass that 21 days to change a habit type of thing. So, yep. and, and you, know, so there's lessons each week, you know, they, people can do, some people will be able to do it live with you. Some people will have the recorded if they miss that live or they have to wait until the next one. But, um, and then they go through this process and through different techniques are taught to them and different lessons are shared and they go through that and they practice and they have this consistency every day for four weeks that starts to work them towards change and any additional support, of course, you're there to help them along the way. That's beautiful. Thank you. And and you can, and my intention is to redo it because that's another thing too. It's like our self-love reflects not only in our relationships, but in our bank accounts. Like my, my business mentor, she says that the amount of money you have in your bank accounts is a direct reflection of how much you love yourself. Mm. And when I heard that, I was like, (laughs) <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I had done so much work on my relationship and being loved and being valued when well, I'm mean being valued, but being worthy of that. I didn't do a lot of work on my relationship with me deserving money and being mm-hmm. deserving of that. So once I started to do that work now, I I'm, I'm great. Like last year, golly, that was the best year I've had in my adult life. And that was coming right out of a pandemic financially because I yeah. did a lot of work around it. And so yeah. my intention is with each, every time you go through the course and you can go through it as many times as you need to, but it's a specific thing, if you will. So, you know, who do you need to forgive around love? And we'll kind of, we kind yeah. of pinpoint what it is specifically for the most part that your goal is. 
and still being open to the universe because the universe knows the quickest way to get from A to B. You may think that you need to work on this, but really this comes in, you know, and that's totally cool. But my intention is, you know, once you have the course and you've gone through the course, you can act, you can re access it at any point and mm -hmm. apply it to another level because, you know, we're onions. Yeah. Okay. Once you feel one thing, another thing's like, Hey, look at me. <laughs> I right. love that when we're right. onions, we're onions. <laughs> That's good though. No. We are, you know, and mm -hmm. then they're constantly sprouting and growing new ones is it in the middle. A little stinky, but we taste great. It's good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> So Veronica, where can they find you? I know Heal Yourself with Veronica Kelly, right? Mm -hmm. Heal Yourself yeah. with VeronicaKelly.com. And then um, I'm also on Instagram. So it's my full name. So Veronica, A as an apple, J as in Jack, A as an apple, Kelly. My middle name is Asia, named after the Steely Dan album. For those <laughs> of you that are under like 35, you don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so my Instagram is Veronica Asia Kelly. And then um, same thing on Facebook. It's just Miss Veronica Kelly. Awesome. Thank you so much, Veronica, for sharing. And, you know, uh, I hope that some people are inspired that they want to join that, you know, that challenge, that boot camp with you and also reach out to you at Definitely go to Veronica's website and look at some of those before and afters from the many people that she's helped transform their physical self that also translated to transforming their internal self as well. Is there anything else you want to share before I let you go? I love you. That's all. <laughs> I love you too. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to be here. I'm super passionate about self-love and sharing the love and yeah, yeah. And, 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 and one day when you're back in LA, you'll do the event. I hopefully live with us here. Yeah, I would love that. I miss you guys. Yeah, you got to see the new space, girlfriend. Yes, I do. Yeah, <laughs> so it's so much better than Hollywood. I don't know that it's better. I and Hollywood had its space, but it was it was cray cray and really like you know. You no, know. I know. And th this is peaceful at ease. <laughs> Good. And she's just relaxing. No problems, no dramas, no traumas. Anyway, you deserve that. Thank you so much. And until next time, everybody, please like, comment, subscribe. If you're listening to this on um, Spotify or iTunes or any of those podcasts, uh, audio platforms, please check us out on YouTube. We're trying to jump up the YouTube views. And if you're jump up and look at us on YouTube, comment and like it so that and YouTube subscribe and subscribe so the algorithms on YouTube can keep on going because we need a little love on YouTube we're getting some love on the audio platforms that's fine if you want to listen and that but just just check it out just so other people can find us on YouTube too thank you so much and until next time bye y'all have a good day thanks for joining us if you enjoyed this conversation please like it subscribe and share it with your friends if you want to hear more about what we have going on and happening online or in, in the neighborhood, check out liberateyourself.com and sign up for our mailing list. Uh, also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Liberate Yourself. It's you are self, you are S E L F. Until next time, be powerful, be magical, and be free.